Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric with Boudreaux's Backyard Bees and Honey. Today is going to be a quick video today. Um, I have one or two five frame nucleus boxes. They just about grew it out so I can put them inside of a 10 frame box. Um, here's a 10 frame box right here. Just to show y'all what I got going on. I'm going to be taking um, five frames out. Bring it up here, I'm not sure if y'all can see. I'll be taking five frames out. But I'm also going to be keeping the feeder inside. I want to feed them since uh, right now is the time for them to grow. So I got a one gallon feeder. I'm going to have the five uh, frames of bees inside of here and finish it up and put nine frames after with a one gallon feeder. So I'm also going to be feeding one to one syrup. Well, it's a little less than one to one syrup. I got um, four gallons of water to a 25 pound bag of sugar from Walmart. I already mixed that up with a, um, a mixer. Um, I make it. I make it in a 15 gallon tote, and I got a little on and off valve on it. This is a this is a paint mixer. It's dried paint. It ain't coming off. I just mix it inside of it for about three to four minutes to get it all mixed up in there good. So that is what we're going to do today. Is that we're going to be going probably one or two hives. I'm not sure yet exactly what's going on. I know I got one that. It's actually a swarm that I caught and the queen was a virgin queen. She came back and made it. I did not mark her. So if we do see her while we're doing the transfer, we're going to grab her and mark her. This is what I used to mark them with. Let me find it real quick. I don't see what I used the marker with. So it's probably in the back, probably by a hive from yesterday. I went through a few hives and I seen um I had one or two queens that came back and made it, so I did mark it yesterday. So I'm sure it's probably on top of a box on a hive somewhere. So that is what we're gonna do this morning is go through the hives. It might be a pretty quick video, probably I'm guessing eight minutes long, so y'all stay tuned and watch us. All right, everyone. Um, I found my um, my queen cage marker tool. So this is it right here. This is what I use. I actually take the queen, let her run inside of here, push in there slowly, and then you can actually mark her top through the little holes. I find that it's pretty safe. I never actually smashed a queen yet. Knock on some wood, but you never know. Things can happen real quick if you're not paying attention to what's going on. I did have my green marker right here on the ground. So there's my marker right here, green for this year, ending with fours. So let's get at it. So I went through this hive yesterday. I did see the queen. I did see a couple of eggs. But with that being said, I still have it as an unmated queen because I didn't mark it yet. So I know I'm ready. How about y'all? Let's get into the hive and see what we got going on. As y'all can see, there's a lot of bees in this hive. That's why we got to put them inside of a tin frame. So we're just going to take everything, put it to the side. Really and truly, I probably should keep this on top. Like this for right now. And what we're going to do, to have a, a little idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this box, I'm going to stick it on top of this one right now, just to get it out of my way. It's got a little weight to it, I feel. Alright, so now we're going to take the bottom board of a 10 frame, put it here. Feeder. I always put my feeder to this side for me for some reason. It's just, I guess, habit, ADD, whatever you want to call it. That's the way I like it. And what we're going to do, we're going to put the bees right there let me get a top real quick I didn't, uh, I didn't grab my top all right I got the top right here put it to the side so let me make sure y'all can see that box from that view of the camera not really so I'm gonna turn you out right here so y'all can actually see a little better about right there should work I'm gonna try to walk y'all through it easiest way so now I can actually look the top, look on the top, make sure y'all don't see the queen and I don't. Shake it down in this box. The bees probably gonna get a little crazy while doing this. 
So let's smoke them down. I'm gonna start from the outside frame and work into it. As we're gonna go through it, I'm gonna be looking for this queen again. I want a marker. This is the frame yesterday I think I seen her on. Well, I know I seen her. She's not a huge queen. She didn't plump up yet. All right, so let me get over this box. We're gonna look at this side first. Looking for the queen. She, like I said, she is a pretty small queen. Okay, see her in that. But you never know, guys. We might not even see the queen because she's not huge yet. She's just getting back from her mating flight, so she's not plump. And they're drawing out pretty good, the comb. So I think with me feeding them, they should draw out all the frames pretty fast. At least that's my hopes. I'm just looking in the cell, see if I see eggs. That's all I'm doing right now. Now I'm looking for my queen, see if I see her. Not on that side, at least from what I see. Chances are I'm probably not gonna find her, but it doesn't hurt to try to try to find her, so. All right, let me look in the cell. I don't see much on this side. Looking for my queen real quick. Mm, nothing on that side from what I see. Looking in the cells on this side. Not much going on. It's polished. It's ready to go. We just need this queen in here to start laying good. Alright. One frame left inside of here. But I do have a lot of bees inside of this box. So, I'm going to show y'all how I just, honestly, I just shake them off. So, let's look at, take a, take a glance on this side. Got some pollen, a lot of nectar. This side right here is solid nectar. I got so many queen, um, I'm sorry, not queen, so many bees crawling on this. It's going to be hard for me to even find the queen. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to... Put them in here, slide the frames over. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a 10 frame box. I can only put nine with this feeder inside of it. All right, so let me space it out, the frames. All right, that's perfect. All right, let me move the camera over on this side better so y'all can see what's going to go on right here. All right, so now let me show y'all real quick. They got a lot of bees still left inside of this box. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to be looking inside of it for the queen. If I can find the queen on the outside wall, I'll just have them grab her, mark her, and go from there. Let me turn this box a little, well, let me break it loose, how about that? Make it easy on me. Alright. 
also I can put the box like this so we all can see and what we're gonna do we're just gonna look in here and see if we see the queen so this is a swarm I'm pretty sure this swarm right here came from Thibodeau and I actually found two virgin queens inside of this swarm and what I did I took I kept one of the queens inside of this swarm inside of here and I took another one, uh, virgin queen and I put her inside of a split I did so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna give them a good shake like that I try not to hit the box with it I don't want to kill my bees so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna smoke these bees down like this then I'm gonna put this smoke inside of here to try to run them all down and that worked out pretty good there's only like five or six left all right now I'm gonna look at this bottom board Make sure I don't see her on here. And it looks like it's just all the girls. So. Uh, I'm going to have to bump this one a little bit. There we go. So now that you're seeing, that's how I move the high over to a 10 frame box i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna go make some um syrup real quick i'm gonna pour some syrup and put a um, pollen patty on it all right so i'm gonna grab a pollen patty i ripped it in the quarter took it off i'm gonna put that pollen patty right here in the center so whenever they want the pollen they can just take it away and bring it inside of their cells right here is a little less than one on one syrup I fill up the one gallon feeder with it. All right, that's pretty good there. So that's pretty much it right there guys. I'm just going to smoke the bees off the side of the box. Try to get them inside of the box. I don't want to try. I'm trying not to smash them. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Then I'm going to go with the inner cover. I always use inner covers because one time I didn't use the inner cover and it was so hard to open up this high, one of the hives. So that's why I went to inner covers now all the time. So all my hives in the 10 frame configure is going to have inner covers. All right. So now that we did this, we did not find the queen. I did not mark her. So I'm still put this right here as an unmated queen. So what I'm going to do with this stuff right here, I'm just going to put the old um, five frame box right here inside of it so that way the bees can go in if they need to go in all right guys so that's pretty much it on this video that is how i move a five frame nuke inside of a 10 frame box pretty easy pretty simple if you have any questions about it or comments go ahead and put it at the bottom i'm gonna try to get to it as fast as i can thanks for watching guys this is eric Hey y'all, it's Eric again. I decided to bring y'all along on this one also. Um, just to show y'all the difference between hives. It's probably gonna be the same as technique as what y'all saw before. So if y'all found that was boring, it doesn't pay for y'all to watch anymore. But you never know when beekeeping, stuff can change so much from hive to hive. So look on the top for the queen, no queen. See all that white new wax? That means they grow on it they uh they get nectar coming in so what we're gonna do we're gonna smoke them down now i'm pretty sure this queen on this one is marked so i'm gonna take one frame out give me some working room 
So let's see what we got going on in here. So this frame was not touched yet. Oh Lord, that smoke is choking me. Let me move this smoke on this side, guys. The wind's blowing straight in my feet. All right, so this, I did have a piling patty on it. As you can see, there's not much left on it. I do have a chunk of piling patty we're gonna put back on top to help that queen out get that brew. So there's no queen from what I see on this frame. But I'm gonna try to get y'all to see what I see on, on this frame. If you look in there, there's a whole bunch of little eggs inside of there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not, but it's solid. Everywhere else you see is brood. Oh, there's the queen at the bottom, guys. Look at that, huh? Right there, the green dot on her. That's our queen. All right, so we know the queen's on this frame. So we're gonna put her in there gently. So now we can go through all this, and knowing that queen is not on these frames, so we can see what got what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring each frame to y'all so y'all can see. So this one here is a solid frame of brew, looks pretty good. We got honey on the outside, textbook. All of that is also laid in like crazy. So they are looking very good. Um, honestly, with me feeding this hive, we might better get some honey out of it this year. It only takes a month for the brew to hatch and this has all been laid up one more frame left let's see what we got going on in here same thing solid brew guys both sides so this queen is a pretty good queen That's it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the spacing right on them. We'll knock these bees off in it. First off, I need to break the box loose from the board. As y'all can see inside of there's wax getting drawn out because they had too much space. And let me explain something to the new beekeepers. If y'all go to your hives, y'all see wax like this. Keep it. When the sun starts to get hot, you can make a, a solar uh, board or solar box. It melts the wax. Melts the, the comb, I'm sorry, melts the comb and it turns into wax. You can use that wax to wax your frames if your frame does not have enough wax. So by far, that is probably one of the most important things and beekeeping and as y'all know beekeeping is not cheap so if you can make your own wax that is great because i think the going price right now is around ten dollars a pound there's some people out there i saw selling for five dollars a pound but you don't know where that wax came from because it might have been somebody that went to a cutout got that wax from a cutout how do you know somebody didn't try to kill those bees before that person did that cutout? So your that wax might be contaminated with poison or something like that. So that way, if you know where that wax came from, you know that wax is good. Shake these bees off in here. That's pretty good there. So now we're just gonna put an inner cover on like this. And that's it so we know she's a made queen I'm gonna put that block like that that way I know she's made it um so that's pretty much it for this one um I'm probably gonna go through this hive right here I knew they had some cells inside of it some um mercy cells I made a split off of it and so what what you said? 
You don't buy the computer. You want me to go through this hive with you real quick? You want to see? Okay, I guess. I'm gonna try to do it quick because I know some people got doesn't don't have much time. So, so what I got here? I got a piece of wood blocking that right there, and a little roach come flying out. That ain't good for video. But um, that's just to stop the water from going in the piece of wood. So let's take a look and see what we got going on in here. So as you can tell right at the back, there's not that many bees compared to the other ones. Honestly, I don't even know if this hive is going to be worth it, to be honest. I'm just pu pulling. Actually, what I did is just pull some um, some frames of brood out of a super strong hive just to stop them from swarming on me. And from there, I'm just hoping for the best, you know, as far as um, getting the queen out of that genetics. That would be great. As you can see, the brood is um, hatching. You can see the ring that already hatched. So, put this to the side. Let's see what we got. I think it's this frame or the next frame. It had um, cells on it. Let's take a look right here and see what we got here. We got brood hatching. Got a couple of drones in here. I see. Got some honey on top. Honey on top. We got a bee right there full of pollen. Right over there with my thumb a little bit down. So, they are bringing in pollen. So, that's a good sign that. They're getting ready for that queen. And here that smoke is smoking me out again. So let me move the smoker on this side. All right, so let's check this frame out real quick. Just to show that person by the computer what they want to see. So let's see here. So I have, I have a mated queen, guys. I have cells galore. I mean, not cells, I have eggs laid up. Well, I think I just saw the queen. Am I seeing things or my eyes are playing tricks on me? Let me look real quick. I could have sworn I just seen that queen running right here. But I think it was the same time I blinked. And maybe my eyes just played tricks on me. Before I know it could have been a drone. So. That is good to know that I have a mated queen here. And there's only one egg per cell. That's how you know if it is a queen or if it is a laying worker a laying worker is going to have multiple eggs in the cells let me go back and look at this frame again so i'm pretty sure i saw a queen put it down right here right, right well i can just take a glance and look so let's see here and i know this queen is not marked because this is the first time seeing anything good from this hive so with that being said i came through this hive today it's thursday tuesday and i did see i'm pretty sure this is the, the uh, hive i did see my cells now i don't think that cell i saw was emerged so with that being said they must have had a queen in here without me even know, knowing and I'm pretty sure that, that cell was on this frame let me look at this side real quick maybe they took it down already guys I really don't know like I said you never know what you're going to find inside of these beehives it can change by day. So, yep, there's no eggs on this one. So, it's like she was. So, that's an empty. Let's take a look back at this frame again. So, I'm, I want to try finding her. I love finding young queens. Oh, there's, nope, that's a drone. Hey, boy, you got me. All right, let me put my foot right here where I can rest on it. So, yeah, I do see eggs. They say if you turn the frame over a little, like sideways a little bit, it looked like that, you could spot her better. But, I don't know, I find out this could find it just as easy like this.
maybe she jumped on the frame next to it when I put it down in there. Let's see. Because I could have sworn I seen the queen, but at the same time, a blank. That's a good bit of beads right here, guys. Do y'all see her? Because I sure don't. But we know she's in here. When she gets a little bigger, we'll spot her. I don't know guys so what we're gonna do we're gonna close this one back up and check through this real quick just to see and we are going to put the brick another way this time let me give them a little shake get some of them off just to see wasn't it wasn't a hard shake so y'all don't, don't fuss me, but I'm, I want to see if there's eggs or something on this frame also. And where that sun is, is not in the right direction. And I don't see no eggs. Alright, so we know we got a queen. So really... I probably should take a feeder and put a feeder on here. And if I had jars, like I wanted to bring them before I came, we could have did that. And I don't think I have no jars with me to do it with. So with that being said, I'm going to come back, just throw a jar in there with some sugar water and that's it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. All right, so I decided to show y'all this also. This is the type of feed I'm gonna be using on this. Um, it's the first time ever using these type of feeders, so please don't judge. I also wanna put a piece of pollen patty in there just to give them a little boost on that also. anything to help my my hives grow quicker i'm definitely going to be doing it so let's put this right up here out of the way of the feeder close it up all right so from what i'm going to stand is all i guess gravity you just flip it over and they get it out like that it does a, a suction so i'm guessing just like that so that's it i just want to show you all that I just wanted to add that on to the video. Alright guys, thanks for watching.